then we're going to play a popcorn rhythm game. Okay, these are the supplies that you're going to need. Pause the video if you need to go get them. You can use a cup or a bowl. You need scissors. If you don't have scissors, you, you can just tear the paper. But you do need a piece of paper and a pencil. Pause and go. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right, here we go. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my paper sideways. And I'm going to cut it in half. As best as I can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Always being careful with my scissors. All right, I'm going to put those to the side because I don't need them right now. The first thing I'm going to do with my papers that are cut, I'm going to go ahead and write numbers on this one. And I'm going to leave a space in between each number. One, space, two, space, three, space, four, space, five. Okay, I'm just going to start with five. That's all I need to do. Go ahead and make yours look like mine. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and none. All right, now I'm going to take my scissors again and my piece of paper. Remember, if you don't have scissors, that's okay. You can just tear the paper. It just won't turn out as neat, which is okay. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some strips. Not too small, not too big. Just right. Just like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I'll cut some strips like that. Go ahead and do this while I am working as well. I think one more time. Okay, finish up your strips. I'm going to make them kind of neat, and then I'm going to cut the strips down the center as well. Boom, and then I don't need the scissors anymore. So I'm going to put those away to the side. On these, I'm going to, actually, I'm going to write numbers on these, but not yet. So let's go back to this paper that we have, the half sheet. We're going to write our rhythms on this paper. So we're going to write, for the first one, we're going to write ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. What do we say? Yes, ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. We're going to write the words underneath that. Underneath that. That's why we skipped a line. Ta, ta, Ta. Your first one should look like this. Ta ta ti ti ta. Go ahead and write it. Number two. Let's do sh sh ta ta. What is it? Okay, let's try it. Shh, shh, ta, ta. Don't forget to write your words underneath. Shh, shh, ta, ta. The sounds make it look like mine. Shh, shh, ta, ta. All right, number three. Let's see. T T Ta Sh Sh T T Ta Sh Sh T T Ta Sh Sh Write it in 10, 
Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and nine. If you're not done, it's okay. I'll give you some time at the end to finish it up. All right, I'm going to spread um, four and five out a little bit. That's why I use a pencil so I can erase. It's very important in music, actually, to use a pencil. Okay, because your ideas might change, right? All right, here we go. Number four, we're going to use Takadimi, a tricky one. See if you remember how to draw it, and then you can check your work with mine in just a minute. Takadimi ta, ta, ta. Takadimi ta, ta, ta. Takadimi ta, ta, ta. Ooh, try your best on fitting that all the way in there. And then the last one, and then I'll show you all of them. Taka dimi ta, ta, ta. So we need some rests in there. Let's do. Ta. She. She, ta, ti, ti, ta, she, she, ta, ti, ti. Okay, I'm going to put this right here so that you can see this and make sure your paper looks like mine. I'll give you one minute to finish that up. <laughs> right, you have about twenty seconds left. Finish it up. Okay, here we go, moving on. Now we're going to take those little sheets of paper that we had. And we're going to actually copy those rhythms onto the papers. All right, so I'm going to write number one. And I'm only going to write the notes on this one. I don't have to write the words on this one. I have ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Should look like this. Actually, I'm going to circle the number one. That way I know it doesn't go with the music. It just is part of my game. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. That's all I'm going to do. And then I get to crumble it like that. And I'm going to toss it into the cup. Do the next one. Number two. Go ahead and keep working. Make sure you have at least one of each of these. One, two, three, four, five. And then you can make a couple more if you have extra time. Shh. Shh. <laughs> Ta. Okay, oop, crumble it up. Pop! Number three. Teet. 
Tita. Shh. Shh. Tita. Shh. Shh. Make sure you check your work. Crumble it up. Put it in the cup or the bowl. Number four. Taka de me ta, ta, ta. Taka de me ta, ta, ta. Ooh, here's what number four looks like. Got it. Make sure you check your work. That's the only way you get points. And number five. Ooh, this one's going to be tricky. Ta. She, she, ta, t, t. Crumble it up. Pop. <clears throat> now I'm just going to make one extra, number one. Make as many as you want to, though. Especially if you're playing against somebody else, you want to win the game. Ta ta ti ti ta. All right. If you're not finished, go ahead and pause the video. Finish those up. I'll shake them up. All right, here we go. Pop, pop, pop. I'm going to pour the popcorn out. I'm going to pick one. And the popcorn is going to pop. I'm going to try to clap this rhythm. It's number one. So my other, the other person's going to look at this, or I can look at that when I'm done. Let's see. One, two, ready, play. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Let's check my work. Did I say it correctly? Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Then I get to keep this piece of popcorn. If I missed it like this, let me show you if I missed it. I said, ta, ti, 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 ta. And it's not that. So I miss, I'm going to check my work. It doesn't match. So I'm going to crumble it up and it goes back into the bowl. Okay, just like that. If you're playing against somebody else, whoever has the most popcorn kernels at the end is the winner. Have fun. Let me know how you like the game and how you played the game. You can also, on your sheet over here, you can also divide it and then maybe put some points. So, Mrs. Peterson, against a student, right? And Mrs. Peterson might have five points. Ooh, doo -doo -doo. And the student might have one because they had six points. Good job. Have fun, guys. Toodles.